Bro, what the hell this shit says? Chase and Chase ends badly for the bad guy. Gosh. Nobody want to see Adam goddamn manage. In the evening on April 7th, 2023, about, officers from the Bay County guy. Sheriff's Office in What's Florida like YouTube, YouTube, attempt to arrest like an individual like alongside YouTube, their special investigations up. division. Reports indicate he was suspected of trafficking large amounts of Schedule One narcotics. Officials block an intersection in anticipation of the approaching suspect. At first, it appears their plan works as the suspect is now stuck in traffic. Officers then make a move to box the suspect in. Nigga done pulled off on the ass. Officers anticipated the suspect fleeing and came prepared. Just minutes down the road, a stop stick deployment was set up and ready to go. The stop stick deployment was successful, striking at least three tires of the suspect's vehicle. Five two the unmarks so y'all can back off, allow the two uh marked units to uh have a primer. We're at 59 miles per hour east of the town. A lot of smoke off that front end. Good, good spike. I got the good spike. 50 miles an hour. They contact with him and advise them. Uh, yeah. There's a Bailey. Let's do softwares. Just south of Grassy Point on 77. Vehicles slowing down, coming to a stop. Approximately 25, 30 miles an hour. Over the next couple of minutes, the suspect continues to drive at speeds between 15 and 20 miles per hour and loses another tire. He lost another tire. Taking his slow speeds into consideration, officials give officers the okay to physically block the suspect in. In your team, if y'all are training tactical blocking, you're authorized for tactical blocking. Just on the lane where I'm marks, no contact, but he gets over in her lane. Coming up to Bay Crest and Danger. Let him go, Maddie, let him go. Mark, go ahead. That nigga still going? That nigga lost two tires, bro. Three? How the fuck is that bitch still turning? 
approximately 15 miles an hour light traffic. Traffic. Still passing good people. 5-2, can we get a pit? 33, I think we're sick of 5-2 there. 33, all units, the pit is not authorized. 26. Coming up to Kingswood now is in the center, almost hit that marked patrol vehicle. Ah, damn! Before he swerved, we are 15 miles an hour approaching Kingswood now. Yeah, he was over there at beach. That's probably where he's trying to get to. Be a one road. 1026. Brad, you want to call it? 10 9, I didn't catch it. It's loud here. You want to call Tarkin and see what you guys do? 87, I'll call it. We're at 13 miles per hour. He's on the same road. Joe is coming past the bus. 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 That shit is crazy, bro. This nigga is still... This nigga lost three fucking tires I'm already. I'm gonna stop. Almost hit one of the SIB guys. I can push him with no damage. They're saying yes. Tell me. Tell me. Man, that was that waiting on. Oh shit, but that nigga just hopped out with the drink, didn't it? Look at that. No response, no response. Oh. Jamie, watch your props. I'll be props. Damn. Lock the door. Rex, open the door. That nigga lost open three tires, now. bro. Roll the window down, Rex. Roll the window down. Okay. All the way. All the way, right now. Climb out. Climb out. Hands first! Climb out right now! Climb out right now! Shit. Get the f*** out of the car! On your belly! Climb out on your belly! He said he going out like Queen Latifah, nigga! Right now. Oh, no, man. Hey, I got hands with PJ. Hey, you're breaking my goddamn legs! You're breaking my goddamn legs! Damn. He said I'm disabled. You ain't that goddamn no, disabled. Did you driving like that? Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop, Rex. The pasta party has begun at Bazoli's. For just four dollars, you can see. They said, "Hey, I'm disabled. You're breaking my legs." Nah, man. The way you drive the goddamn driving, I'm bitch, you must be already broke. Bro. Really? Yeah, the right man silent. Anything you say, do you can't will be used against your court of law. Right? Speak to attorney for advice and have him or her present with you during question if you wish. You understand? You understand? I guess so. You hurt? Yes, I'm hurt. Where are you hurt at? Sit him up. Come on. Where are you hurt at? My chest. Why's your chest hurting? You got any heart problems? Yes. Yeah, I wasn't leaning against that hot wheel. Yeah, that's probably not very smart. Yeah. You don't think hot tire? How much did you find this car? Huh? How much you think? About nine? Nine zips? A zip is a slang term for an ounce of drugs, so the officer is suggesting there are nine ounces of drugs in the car. However, based on the context of the officer's responses, it seems the out of earshot suspect allegedly said he ran because he was driving on a revoked license. Get all that, get all that for a license. What? 
The officers continue to search for the suspected drugs for roughly 45 minutes and find some noteworthy discoveries. Yep. You got a manufacturer here for me. Yep. There's meth in it. Uh, taser, uh, taser in the door. He ain't got a license. No license. Clean and looting with disregard. Oh, yeah. What officers are failing to find the suspected drugs? Oh, count of three. One, two, three. Oh. All right. Walk around. Bro, I ain't no goddamn way. Huh? Got bad legs, too. Okay. We're gonna have you sit down in front of this patrol truck, okay? That way you don't stand on your leg. Rex, you got a good license? No. He says that's why he ran. Shit. If you ain't got no dope, why'd the dog alert on the car back there at the stop? Officers begin searching underneath the car to see if anything is stashed away in a hidden compartment. Did you see that spray foam up in there? Oh, yeah. Oh, check his pockets good? I don't think anybody did yet. I don't think he's gonna fit, you know, yeah. around the dope in his pockets. You know? Could've ate it all. Yeah, you could've. That's all right. I've sent f to prison for 10 years just on fleeing. He's acting like he knows he's going to fucking prison. You ran awful hard for a bad license. All right, Rex. We're going to stand you up again, and then we're going to walk over here to my truck, and then I'm going to patch down make sure you ain't got nothing on you. Do you have anything on you that poke me, stick me, stab me, or get you in trouble at jail? That's it. You shouldn't? Yeah. That wasn't what I asked. It's a simple yes or no. I don't think I do. You know? Okay. Up. Go ahead and put your feet a little bit farther apart for me, Rex. No, but we don't get to know each other, okay? Damn. Any wearing any underwear? No, I can tell. You're having a handful of butt cheeks, bro. Is that just a junk there, bro? Yeah, it is. You sure? Oh. You got something in his pants? Can't quite tell. I did eat pizza. All right. You have anything in your shoes? No? I'll fall over now. Yeah, no man, question, we, 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 so. Nuts don't feel squishy. Nuts are typically pretty solid. Bro. What? Nuts don't feel squishy. Hold on. Gotta take a minute to counter on that. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eyes are squishy. Lean back on the truck, Rex. Did, did you notice? I'll every put you time on the ground, bro. You were messing with him, you were doing this. Yeah. I don't have enough. Oh, shit. All good? Same. He's a feeling. Well, it's not the medical terminology. All right, you ain't got nothing in your fucking drawers, bro. I ain't got nothing in the drawers. Hold that up, man. I ain't wearing no underwear. I know. Yeah. Your drawers can be considered your pants, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't got nothing tucked. Nope, nothing tucked. All right. Ain't gonna catch a junk either. I'll take you to McDonald's if you tell us where it's at. I hate McDonald's. I'm not a psychological expert, but the normal person would have said I ain't got. So, where can I take you for you to tell me where it's at? Search for one I'm fitting right to your phone is gonna tell a different story. Because we don't just randomly pull people over. We're gonna go back and find where you threw it. We're gonna go back to Heather's house. We're gonna kick her door in. We're gonna keep going until we get it. Just the way that it is. I listen to me. You don't know who I am, but by the time we get done with this, you're never going to forget my name. If you want to play that game. He ain't lying either. You won't. Trust me. I think he ate it, bro. No, he did. I don't think he ate all He's of it. He's sweating like mother. But there ain't no fucking way he's sweating but that it, damn bad. The shit he's been bringing in has been killing people, so if he would have ate it, bro. The footage fails to show officers finding any drugs on scene, despite their efforts to get the suspect to confess. However, according to reports, officers did eventually find over 1 pound and 13 ounces, or over 800 grams of methamphetamines later on. They also found $2,200 in some marijuana. News reports indicate officers found those items in his vehicle. Court records indicate Rex faced drug-related and driving infraction charges dating all the way back to 1988, when Rex was 25 years old. He also also faced previous charges for grand theft auto, shooting into yeah. buildings, fleeing law enforcement officers, and reckless driving. For this case, Rex was charged with one count of trafficking more than 200 grams of methamphetamine, one count of high-speed reckless fleeing, one count of possessing more than 20 grams of marijuana, one count of possession of a concealed weapon as a felon, one count of knowingly driving with a suspended license, one count of possession of drug paraphernalia, three counts of aggravated assault on a law enforcement officer, one count of tampering with physical evidence, one count of fleeing with a disregard for safety, one count of resisting without violence, and one count of possession of a firearm Damn. as a felon. 
That last charge came to be after officers obtained a narcotic search warrant at his home. They found a 22 caliber revolver that his wife admitted was his. Through the court system, most of his charges were consolidated, and in January of 2024, he ultimately pled guilty to one count of trafficking more than 200 grams of methamphetamine and one count of high-speed reckless fleeing. For his meth possession, he was sentenced 20 years in prison. He was also ordered to pay over $250,000 in fines for this charge. Briggs? For his reckless fleeing charge, he was sentenced they 15 years, you, but his charges would run concurrently, making his full sentence 20 years. He started with 271 days of credit. In Florida, 85% of a prison sentence must be served in prison. With this information, he likely will not get out of prison until mid-2040, when he is roughly 75 years old. Damn. Elsewhere in the same county, another officer attempted to pull a vehicle over after noticing that their license plate this light was malfunctioning. Crazy. When the officer initiated the stop, instinct told him that the driver was about to speed off. So another unit, I think they're about to flee. Black male driver is fleeing, going north, uh, Louisiana, past 11. His instincts were correct. The suspect fled across a driveway, driving over a patch of grass. However, the suspect wouldn't get very far. It would be less than 20 seconds before the officer recounted the surprising event he just witnessed to dispatch. He crashed at night, Louisiana, flipped over, car slipped over. Hands! 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 Show me your hands! My hands are here! Show me your hands! Get out of the car! Man, I don't know! Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Please don't shoot! I'm not gonna shoot! Roll out! I'm rolling out! Roll out! Man, what the f***? All the way out! right! Crawl out. You see my hands, right? I see your hands, but I'm not gonna shoot you. Just crawl out. Man. Sorry, my radio flipped. He's crawling out of the car. Man, I'm trying out. to get a ride. Motherfucker Keep... jumped out. Nobody jumped out. You were driving, buddy. Get out. I was not driving this vehicle. You were just in the driver. Get out of the car. Man, two people, please pull me out. I really don't want to hurt nobody. Give me your hands. I don't want to hurt anyone. I got money flying away. Hold on to money. Hold on to your money. Please, bro. Oh, what the f*** going on, man? Stand up. Y'all, please stand me up. Please pick my pants up. 619. Oh, man. 54. Hey, all units. 10 traffic. Damn, you've been drinking, bro? I see a bud light. I've been drinking. That makes sense. I've been drinking, but the mother in the car with me. There's nobody in the car. There's nobody in the car with you, bro. Are you for real? Yeah, you're the only driver I've seen it. Nothing on me but money, bro. Where are you guys coming from? I'm coming from my people's house, bro, right around the corner. <laughs> you got dope on you? No. You just open the car? No. You got a lot of money, Well, bro. not that I should know of. I think if I had dope out of land, all this money on me. Probably. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get, get, get you checked out by an ambulance, okay? Come on, man. Sit in my car for now. The first officer on scene did not read him his Miranda rights. However, it is likely that another officer fulfilled this requirement as the suspect was escorted off camera and out of earshot. Informing a suspect of their Miranda uh, rights is extremely important to the judicial process. When officers fail to read a suspect their rights, any information they gather from questioning a suspect becomes inadmissible in court. Uh, Doors open. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> as long as you didn't pursue it. No, I didn't pursue him. He hit his car a little bit. I guess he took this turn and, uh... Oh! Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. I, I didn't want to get out. I didn't know. You live here? Is this his house? No. Can you, you scratch with someone's yard? Yeah. Took that tree out? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah, let's get this driver checked out. Bro, I was not the... Wow. All right, let's, let's start this way. What's your, what's your name? Xavier. Hold oh, the driver. What's, what's your name? I didn't know you were driving. What's your know birthday? Chicken. Crawl all the way out of the passenger seat. You were in the driver's seat. I crawled out of the passenger seat. Oh, shit. Unbelievable. Man. <laughs> really? Bro. I guess we don't really need fire anymore. I thought he was going to be in trap, but I was able to get him out. God damn it. <laughs>
Crazy, right? Yeah, man. I was really in the packages, man. I said I wasn't going to do any more police work. But that's why I'm like, what are you doing, dude? Why the car flip? I don't know. Yeah, I guess, I guess he's, dr he's drunk. He's drunk? Yeah, yeah. I'm drunk. I'm going to definitely be drinking. You did drink? Yes. I think I would do some stupid shit. I wasn't driving. And Marina, just don't ask him any questions. He's got warrants. For child support? You got two warrants. Child support and what else? I'm always curious why they don't stop. I don't That's know. why I ask if I have yeah. an option. You guys want to check him out real quick? I, I was able to get him out. He's uh, intoxicated. Yeah. Are you hurting anywhere? He's got 48s. No license. Chase him, bro. I didn't chase him. So what happened? I was gonna pull him over. He pulled. Into, he pulled into the driveway over there. He made a right turn. Pulled across somebody's driveway like this. Went south on Louisiana. Right, blacked out and and flipped out right over here. So he just went straight and flipped out. Yeah, he, he flipped. Uh, he so must have hit the Yeah, he must have missed a turn. Damn. Stump is what got him. Whew. Yeah, that's probably where he got. Is there any dope? I He's got a load of money. Yeah, I think we should probably wait for the car to flip, right? To search it? Yeah. You see all that money? He's, yeah, got, he's, he's got a lot more in his pocket. He's signal one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 he, and he has 48s. Let's work that. I'm not going to get him out of, out of handcuffs and run through field sobriety. He can blow if you want to or not. Well, how, 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 do you, how can you articulate his signal one? I I'm not challenging you. I'm like, how are you going to articulate it? We're, we're not, we're not going to remove him handcuffs after. I, after that's this. not what I'm asking. Yeah. Relax. Okay. If you were to charge him and they, he refused to do FSCs in a situation, mm -hmm. would you be able to articulate that he's intoxicated? Yeah, of course. He told yeah. me he does. He told me. <laughs> there's a beer right there. If you talk to him, there's no, there's no alcohol coming from his person. He told but he's going he, he to have to go to the hospital and get cleared. Of course. Before we go to the yes. jail. Yeah. What? Is this ambulance? Yeah. All right, you're gonna go to the hospital, get checked out before we go to jail. Hey, you, you uh, you, you want to blow into the machine? For check, check your blood alcohol. I know I'm drunk. Okay. <laughs> Are you gonna blow or no? I mean, I know I'm drunk. Okay. I was driving, so yeah, I blow, but I know I'm drunk. I've been drinking for the past few days. I know I'm drunk. Okay. Man. Oh, man. <laughs> what y'all want to do? Yeah, let's go to bed. Let's get, go to bed. Get, get him to the hospital. Let's go to bed. Right, come on, boy, get in. You, you gotta go in there. Yeah, yeah. Put his hands uh, I don't have no weapons or anything. Bro. He's got a lot of money. Get an envelope for all this. Yeah. Hi, you have an envelope? 48 parking from County. Why would you one is FTA. It's holding out bond. The other is child support. Bond from 2500. I do. Free to go? Yeah, it has nothing to do with what I got on me. Yeah, it does. It has everything to do with what you got on me. Well, why can't you count what I got on me in front of a camera? We're all on camera. We're all on camera. Hey, you got that? Oh, I got gloves on there. Get your bag. Yeah, it's weed. Oh, there's a dollar bill right there. No, count my money in front of me. How about you chill? We don't get to make the man. I make the man. He's selling some weed. Why can't you count my money before you put it in the bag? Everything's on camera, dude. We're not going to count this. Why you can't count it on camera? Because I'm not going to count it on camera. You hear me? You see me? Man. Well, I don't care. I don't care. There's more in the car. I don't care. There's more in the car. Let's get him in the Let's get him in the car. Why can't you count my money on camera before you put it in the bag? All right, let's get in the ambulance. Other side. I'm sorry, guys. Other side. Other side. Why can't my money How about you sit down? My car, my car is What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Sit down. You're gonna sit down. Sit, sit down. Sit down. That's what's about to happen. Sit down. Turn, sit. Sit down and chill. Otherwise, you're not going anywhere. There you go. As the officer mentioned, Xavier did have multiple warrants yeah, out, and with that, he showed an extensive criminal history with past charges including trafficking fentanyl, possessing Damn. and selling or delivering a Schedule II substance, grand theft, motor theft, driving while under the influence, the possession and manufacturing of cocaine, battery, Damn. and maintaining a drug house, among others. His serious criminal records go back to 2004, when he was just 19 years old. For this case, Xavier specifically faced one count of aggravated high-speed reckless fleeing, one count of delivering or distributing cocaine, one count of possessing less than 20 grams of marijuana, one count of possession of drug paraphernalia, one count of driving under the influence and causing damage to people or property, one count of reckless driving and causing damage Damn. to people or property, one count of driving without a valid Wait, driver's dude. license, and one count of He's refusing dying. to take a blood alcohol test. Roughly a month after the event, he entered a plea of not guilty on all Shit. charges. 
After 14 months, Xavier stayed locked up in jail, awaiting a trial. Then in March of 2023 changed his plea to nolo contendere, meaning he won't admit guilt to the charges, but he agreed to be sentenced as if he were guilty. For every charge, the court adjudicated a guilty verdict. For most of his charges, he was sentenced one year in prison. For his high-speed reckless fleeing and cocaine charges, he was sentenced to prison for three years and ten months. Damn. All of his charges run concurrently, meaning he would serve them simultaneously. He was also granted 454 days of jail credit, making his total sentence roughly two years and seven months. He also had to forfeit all items seized and got his driver's license suspended for five years. Based on this information, his prison sentence is set to end in October of 2025. Oh, he get up and got down there, sure. God damn. Well, he get our next year. Nigga said, that nigga said October 2025.